Today I'll be teaching you how to make Robo Tracks in Minecraft. I've gotten this request many times in the past, and I was always confused by that question because I thought, you know, Robo Tracks, you know, why do you need a tutorial for this? It's just pretty much like two rows of anvils and then slabs in between, then like some block over here for the ballast. But, you know, recently I've been trying out this new technique just to make this a lot better. If you look in real life, you know, railroad ties are actually buried into the ground so they're like an anchor. So it makes more sense if you're just adding like slabs around it so it's more in depth. Plus, when you're using this, when you're building trains, it's a lot easier to use uh, since it's just like a slab down. Well, this one, it's like a whole block down. It's not really realistic uh, if you have like these giant holes here. You're probably not that safe either. So, this technique is a lot better yeah you can customize this to whatever you want so if you wanted sandstone slabs you can do that as well and this is just pretty much like a base for your railroad so you can make one of these and you just add to it just to make it your own you know customize it you can add like uh, grass to the side of it add some trees put a little station next to it etc you know this is just like a building block that you can use and I also like textured um, these blocks over here so that they have a nice texture, but not just like one block So yeah, I'm gonna be showing you how to build this and let's get started So first thing you're gonna get a railroad tie. I used a spruce slab for this and Then I'm just gonna build a mini section of track over here So just place one skip a block add one skip a block add one So these are gonna be the ties and then I'm gonna extend it some every other block So let's do it like that I'm gonna just do like uh, five for now, just to show you how to exactly make it. All right, so once we've done that, you gotta dig a trench right over here. Now the reason why we're digging a trench is because you'll actually see underneath the anvil, the block, a little bit of the block. So you'll need to add in the block inside there. So what I use for this mixture is gravel, stone, andesite, and I think cobblestone as well. So there's like a lot of mixtures of the blocks. So you may be like, how do you exactly mix the blocks? Well, you just place it in like a random order. You know, you could put like two here, little patches everywhere. And then we take gravel, pretty much do the same thing. You're going to make your own drawing. And I'm just placing it in random places. And then uh, the andesite like that. And... Um, if you do want to, if you think it's too complicated for some reason, you know, you could just use an andesite or gravel. Um, but anyways, next up we'll add in our uh, rail tracks. So that's going to be anvil. So we'll just add in two rows of these. Like that. And now we're going to add in the slabs to the side. So we'll need stone slab, cobblestone slab, and a site slab and that is about it so we'll just do the same thing so this is going to be um to the block to the side of it so this row here as well as the inner uh holes with the railroad ties so we're just going to add first a layer of andesite slabs you just put a random order you know this is where it can get creative and then we'll add in cobblestone and i should probably put andesite here as well more cobblestone here just spread it all around make it look natural and then we'll fill in the rest in with stone slabs like this all right so we got that nice pattern now we need to actually add in a little bit of unevenness just because you know real life it's not going to be perfect so there's going to be some bumps over here so we're going to add in those bumps so just add in like you know some slabs sticking out like this you can try to randomize the pattern of how you're going to be placing this just make it look um, interesting I guess yeah I'll just do it like that for an example just don't don't pay too much attention to how you're doing it because it's just supposed to be randomized all right so next up we'll need to add in this bottom layer and that will be two sides so this is going to be like whatever the slab was, uh, wasn't in, you can just punch in a hole there. So I'm just skipping all the blocks of the slabs on the side. 
and then we'll add in um, first a layer, you know, some andesite blocks in there, and then cobblestone, a little bit of cobblestone here, and then we'll add in the regular uh, stone. Fill that in, fill that in, and I'm just, I mean, regular stone we don't want. We want a mixture. All right, so it looks like this. All right, now we need to add in this jagged pattern on the edge, and that's just gonna be like, you know, just a couple blocks. And try to make it actually make sense. So like, if this part is sticking out, just have this connect towards it so it looks like a little pile, you know? And you don't have to do that, but that's just what I recommend you do. Uh, we can add another blocks, cobblestone here, other side, just add in some more blocks. Just make it look like it's sticking out. And make that like that. Or maybe not, maybe I'm just gonna... This looks a little more uh, natural. You know, you can just always mess around with it if you don't like the way it looks. Like if it looks unnatural, you can change it. Uh, but yeah, this is pretty much it for our basic design, and you just do this for a whole entire life of track. Uh, it's a lot of work, maybe, compared to this one. So I think some people, they're like, oh, I don't really like doing all this work. I could just do it like this. But you know, this one, it actually pays off in the end, and it shows off some creativity. And uh, it looks a lot better. It's more realistic. And if you do want another design for uh, these... Um, embedded in the tracks like for example you're making one of these rail yards you just you don't want to make like a realistic set you just want some place to build this is what I did for that so I pretty much made in like rows of these polished um, granite and as well as granite slabs and I just made a column of this this is gonna be yeah it's seven blocks wide and I just add some like ballast here on the side just to break them up um, but yeah, that's pretty much it for my track tutorial. Let me know if you guys are interested in maybe future tutorials like train signals and stuff like that. I think that would be a great addition to add, you know, just to add to side tracks. I already do have a couple of tutorials for that. So railroad crossing, you know, uh, I think I have a train signal, but it is kind of outdated. I do want a new version of it. So let me know in the comment section down below. Hit the like button, subscribe if you had not already. And I'll see you guys in the next one.